Welcome everybody with a heavy heart, but with appreciation for the journey. The last episode of Family. What? Oh, just, stop it. I'm just kidding. I did think it would be funny if I just blindsided you. I mean, not funny. It'd be no. horrible. But just to get your reaction. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, um, well, first of all, today's episode is sponsored by Feels Hello Fresh, uh, Rocket, and Upstart. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, let's be honest. Okay. Families was meant, honestly, as a gag following up Frenemies. It was. It was. And, you know, it turned into something really fun and special that people enjoyed. I had a blast. Dad and I had a, a lot of fun. I had fun. Everybody had fun. It was a great time. It was. But it was always meant to be a limited run. I'm The fact that we even got 10 solid episodes out of this, I think, is... Uh, is beautiful. And I've got all my Don Arcs. The Don Arcs are, you have, the Don Arcs are in the millions. Uh, you know, I, that I I talk to them all the time on, on that cameo thing that I write back and forth. And, <laughs> and uh, no, it's been a blast. The whole thing has been a blast. So, yeah, there's actually more Don Arcs than actual butterflies at this point. <laughs> I don't, well, I hope well, not. I don't know. There's not many of them according to you. So I, I hope not. If well. you could cast a spell and turn all the Don Arcs into monarch butterflies, would you? Well, no, they're people. Oh, okay. I don't want to do that. I just that. wondering what's more important because you know, I was just, you know, pros and cons. No, no, no. People. With a permission slip. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. Okay, if you could wipe out, okay, if you could kill 10 random people, would, and but then you save the monarch butterflies forever, would you do I would never kill would somebody, no. Just random? Okay, well, okay, let me adjust. Oh, what if you could how kill, are you asking me such a theoretical this question? This is interesting. 10 people on death row. No, if I can't. Push I, the button. No, okay, okay, okay. I can't. One do person it. on death row <laughs> who's for sure guilty of heinous crimes and he's already going to be executed oh, by the state. God. You push one button, end his life, and save the monarch I, forever. I, oh, God. Ethan, I can't, I can't answer that question. <laughs> Come on, no, that. I refuse. Or the, the classic time travel question <gasps> Hitler when he was a baby. I kill him. Yeah, no question. I'd snap his neck. Yeah, okay. I, the, I'd snap his little baby neck. Yeah. One motion. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> what, what is that one That one deal where uh, there's a train going and you have the option of pulling the lever? The trolley issue. Yep. Okay, so. That's okay. a, that's a tricky tr- one. The issue, Dan. Okay, so here, let's put it this way. One inmate on death row Guaranteed did heinous crimes. Guaranteed did heinous crimes. He's going to be put to death. He's got a year left on death row. He's on one side. On the other side, every monarch butterfly. Okay. You know, uh, the, you know, theoretically, you know, intellectually, you say there's no, you know, there's no contents. But when you're right there at the moment, the the thought of killing a human who being. Do you put, who do you kill? You know, you I, I, oh my God. All right, I'll save my butterflies. Yeah, kill, kill that guy. He's oh, so if he's a he, monster. So it turns out he was wrongfully convicted. And you oh him. my God. <laughs> shame on you. <laughs> that never happens. Come on. Yeah, that, that's never happened. Listen, but you know, like I was saying, I think that we should end while the show is good. There's a big part of me that's like, we should, you know, we could keep this going forever. Because it's so fun and nice, but I think we have to end while the show is good. Like Seinfeld. Exactly like Seinfeld. And while the show is good, you know, Hopefully let's just go out with the last episode will be better than the last Oh, yeah, the last episode, episode was, that was horrible. Which was Happy not I liked it. to you until we meet again. Okay. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not for the record. Me, I am. I am. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we, no, I'm we'll still, still your mother. Yeah, I'll still see you. Okay. <laughs> You're just singing happy trails to me. I well, I meant for the show. Right, 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 right. I didn't. I didn't see your dad. Sunday. How do you feel about the ending of the show? Uh you know, I went into this not really wanting to get involved and let mom do it all and kind right. of be off camera. But no, I've I've enjoyed all of it and. Um, you know, the requests I've got on Cameo, although I'm not <laughs> close to the number that the queen of Cameo is, the, the number she's throwing up there. 
It's great. And, you know, when you feel close to the fans and uh, it's, uh, I've I've loved it. it. You guys are good, man. You guys have a knack. You guys are entertaining. I loved it. I got to be honest. I'm going to miss it. I mean, on Tuesdays, it's like we get to film and and uh, come over. Oh, well, you. you know, every Sunday. Oh. <laughs> that was every a good Sunday. I mean, aside from the occasional. <laughs> no, I want you guys here all the time. That's what we don't understand. I'm like, please come over. We need help. Because like, well, yeah. I have to yeah. water my plants. As servants. Yeah. Uh, Not yeah. as servants. As freaking families. Well, we, right. we do things on Saturdays and Sundays. And, you know, Let's aside from the occasional humiliation that was forced upon me. Like, oh, well, let's be honest. You know. We're, we're you know. not even close to even, but uh, I'm right. still working on evening the score. Well, I know, I know. This was the, really the whole plan behind all this was Ethan's attempt to get even with me. And yeah, you're getting yeah. close. I was ta- No, not even close. <laughs> I was talking to someone on, you know, on the cameo we were writing back and forth and she was asking about the dynamics with our family and i was recalling remember when we went to yosemite with your cameo well you know she's asking me questions and so i'm kind of talking to her she's turned it into a free yeah you just are chatting i'm just like i'm (laughs) having so much fun yeah and and i was talking remember when we went to yosemite and I, what was that game that I kept on flipping off like it was... Uh, it's the game of life. Remember, Mom oh. put the spin, oh that center thing, the center dial? It came flying off. Do you remember that? I remember the game of life. Oh, I do remember that. I couldn't turn Whoa. that was sucker. I just five, the memory. six times in a row. So there's like a little push thing with dice in it, right? And well, she, you turn it, you and it's turn numbers it. on it. Weird. I and just she unlocked kept the lifting it up, memory. and it kept coming off like time after. We were just rolling on the floor because she could not. I, I know. I'm so lame. Memory. Yeah. And we, we, we were playing chess every night. We should do that again. We should do a family trip like that. With it, was, it was so much fun. Yeah, definitely. Board game. I was telling her... Nice. I was telling her how we used to play Risk, mm-hmm. and, you know, Dad always used to win. Bullshit. I win. No, Every no. Time. Once you turned a certain age, you totally stole Thank the you. crown from Dad. I haven't lost. I swear you're, to God, re- you're really good at strategy. Watched, I don't know who plays Risk. I swear to God, Dan. Dan, I've, we should the last have a five game. games I've played, I'm undefeated at that game. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, that's it. Let's throw down a challenge. We all have to play Risk. That. Let's should- do it. I think on the air that would be great. Oh like yeah, three oh that's or four a long days game. Of All right. Well, but anyway. Um. <laughs> well, we used to, if we could talk about risk for a second. When <laughs> okay, go ahead. This is your last show. Just do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. We we were pretty <laughs> hardcore risk players, and this is back in the days when they were wooden pieces. That wasn't good enough. We got little HO size army men. So we had army men and little cannons and little infantry men that instead of the, the wooden board. pieces. Sorry? That comes with the risk board. No, they're plastic no, no, now. No, this was the summer of risk at the Sweets House. The summer of risk. And, yeah. Yep. Uh, well, all of our friends, we'd risk, get together and play. Summer of pool, summer of all kinds of different things where we just went crazy and did one activity generally during the summer. And Those were the good times. That was though. the summer at risk. And it's all fun and games till someone tips the board upside down <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> That's that that that's unforgivable to actually do that. It is. Yeah. Well, at any rate, um, you know, this is it. But but don't don't fear. My parents are going to be part of the show from now on. I'm thinking like during episodes with big dramas happening on YouTube or in the world, we can call my parents up and get a drama summary. Oh yeah, we're good with that. I I love it. So I'm gonna I'm make sure they have a segment going forward. Still, yeah. By the way, what's your cameo total compared to Dad's? You- Another humiliation attempt here by <laughs> Ethan. Well, okay. you know, in fairness, you had mentioned from when we were on the air. What's the number? Yeah. Okay. What's yours, Dad? I'm looking right now. I love the whole cameo dramas now. You know, we talked about it on the last show of the H3 pod, and poor AB didn't get a single one. <laughs> And Ian and Zach each got like 50, and poor AB didn't get a single one. Well, I'm at lucky 13. Oh, that's good. There's nothing nothing to scoff at. What is the difference between the cameos and the streak? What does Um, that mean? You do ask me that every time you say that. I don't understand that. Have you rejected any? Why would I reject? Well, if they say, oh, tell you, you ask you to say something like anti Semitic or something. No, everybody's been. Stellar. I, I've really enjoyed talking to the uh, to your fans. Well, uh, I I don't know. I can't help you with that. Well, I've had 152. 
Bro! <laughs> that is amazing. I want to talk to everybody. That's awesome. She's probably up on the leading uh, cameo yeah. producers now. The cameo star. You're right up there with White Claw Gabe. <laughs> Actually, they're next to each other on the homepage. Right? I know. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. Why is that embarrassing? Wait, what's embarrassing about being next to White Claw Gabe? Because doesn't he just say, you know. The F word? Uh, F, F, baby, it's Friday. Don't or demean what he does, Mom. Wait, what is, what is White Claw Gabe saying? Wow. Am I allowed to say that word? Yeah. Who's that handsome guy next to Rudy Giuliani? Dad, I need to, dude, this picture you chose is so horrible. This could be why. It's mostly a picture of Jessica as a baby. Like, whoa, 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 I know. Why? Take a photo of you. Use that your phone. Me. It's a smartphone. It's a smartphone. It has a camera on it. Just go like that, and you'll get way more. Uh, I think, I think maybe people don't recognize you in that picture. Yeah, nobody's going to recognize you. Young, you. It's you mostly a picture of a little girl. Like, what? It says Gary Klein. All right, I'll, okay, I'll, sure. I'll take, take have it your way. under advisement. Okay. So here we are on Top Creators. My mom's number three. She's actually two spots ahead of your boy, <laughs> White Claw Gabe. Fuck yes, baby. You want to try the white claw game? Well, I, you know, I don't. Go for it. Fuck, baby, fuck. It's Friday. Fuck, baby, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very Is good. Is there school? Is there school tomorrow? Fuck, baby, no. Is there work tomorrow? <laughs> fuck, baby, no. <laughs> fuck yeah, baby. Friday. Fuck yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> See, you get I'm it. I'm so goofy. Trust, it's just so goofy. You underestimate Gabe's power. I guess so. He's pretty popular. Well, at any rate, um, you wanted to give someone a shout out before we get to I the did. You know, I I was, you know, now that I'm all involved in this, I, I kind of look for things. And and uh, one of the uh, t YouTubers, I, I'm going to screw up his name like I do everybody's. I don't know if it's Rep, Rep Zion, Rep Zion. There you go. I think it's Repzion. Repzion. Anyways, his dad's really sick, and and his best friend is really sick. So I just wanted to send my Love. best wishes and and a virtual hug <laughs> my mom. to him. So sweet. She's like caring about you all know. these kids. She's, you are, well, you're you building know. parasocial relationships with your with these people you're watching. Well, you know they're sweet kids, and yeah. I you know it's really it's a tough thing when you're, you know, he's a guy and it's his dad. Oh, absolutely. You know, so our well, hearts go out. If only there was this kind of love on YouTube as a whole, I think we'd all be making a... Be a happier videos. world. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, and all the creators mom mentioned last week just were... Oh, Wet ecstatic. Noodles uh, did a little shout out. Right. Yeah. Called he started out his show noodles. calling him <laughs> Wet Noodles. <laughs> So anyway, before we get to the show, I want to give a shout out to Ela Klein. Is there any Ela Kleiners in the house? Woo! On Thursday, we're having just an amazing collection coming out. Thursday at 10 a.m. Um, first of all, the hoodie you guys saw that you all loved that my mom was wearing. Oh, last I week, love that hoodie. That Ela was so wearing. nice and toasty. It's coming out this Thursday. That's a women's exclusive. Here, let me show you the one I'm talking about. Let me show the legend on Insta. I can hold this up. Um this one here so this is coming out wow what a beautiful model yep she is oh, and then is this great. one i don't know if you can see it really good but this is the nicest watercolor shirt i've never seen a technique like this it's called it's it's brushed watercolors it's really a nice tie -dye. shirt and they they actually do it by hand with a brush wow. and i've just i've never seen this technique before it's so beautiful really looks great yeah and so, and then show off that one, Mom. Okay, and this one's. You want to stand up so they could see it? Don't touch. Yeah, Donna, stand, stand up. up. Stand up. Woo! Stand up. This is so cute. So it's, it's a. It's got a short little, uh, you know, well, not too short, but it's it's short. It's stitched on. It's like a. It's I can't I can't recall the name of the technique, it's like but patchwork. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice, and it says, "Don't touch me." Yeah. Exactly. So that's coming out this Thursday. Oh, my dad's got it. And then this one, my dad, it was too big for him. It's too XL. My mom made him take it off. Oh, he, he looked like he was wearing his dad's it's clothing. It's a little big. But it's a uh, velour. Yeah, velour type. And it's like Debossed. diamonded on the back, embossed. Embossed. It's beautiful. Beautiful hand. Feels nice. Would be nice and warm with winter coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. This Thursday. I like the color. 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, today your slang word is, so let's move on to the Oh, here I go. I'm going to screw it up. I can't screw this up. This is my last chance. Yeah, you better rack it up today. This is your last chance to get paid. No, no, (laughs) no facts, I'll print. (laughs) That's funny. Close. That is good. Okay, so today's word is touch grass. Touch grass. It should be easy to remember. You know, some of these things, do people actually use this Absolutely. all the time? Absolutely. Well, let's see what it means. Well, touch take a guess. grass. If you would say to someone, go touch some grass. Just be down to earth. Be real. Oh, um, that's a good That's a good guess. Mom, do you have a guess? Um, Touch grass. Is that kind of like for good luck, touch grass? Touch some grass. Yeah. Like before you go on stage, touch grass, bro. <laughs> Tits break, up. Break a grass. Break a le- tits up. Break a leg. People say tits up? Yeah. Tits you heard up. tits up, Dan? It means like break a leg. It's Mrs. Maisel. Everything goes crazy. The marvelous Bonkers. Mrs. Tits Maisel. Up. Oh. Everything went tits up. Well, tits up, I know that saying, but when you're saying tits up like T- that. No, no, no. It, I, I actually thought it meant to stand up straight, <laughs> but it means it means tits everything's up. gone wa- okay. I bonkers. Like, yeah, that's why I was confused. Your usage was confusing me. Yeah. Touch grass means... You need to go outside, basically, ah. and get back. You need to. You need to get your your guess was pretty good. It's like you need to. You've been on the internet too long. You need to go touch some grass, bro. I like that. Unplug. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay? Which was also called normal life when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, we used to touch back when I was a, or touch grass when I was a kid. Yeah, even you. Yeah, even go outside and play. I haven't touched grass. Everyone I, I used to go outside. To walk on grass. I was famous for grass stains on my knees by sliding and doing things. You were famous for that? Yes. Everyone knew you as the grass (laughs) stain guy? Well, Grandma, my mom certainly did at least. Those are never going to come out. Yeah, the only grass grass I touch is in Final Fantasy (laughs) (laughs) XIV. We don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's funny. It is. It's a video game. (laughs) Okay, you ready? So touch grass. Touch grass. Okay. All right, so, you know, I wanted to do some retrospective stuff here today, but before we do, we have some top-of-the-show stuff. Dad, for example, Dad, you gave me some horrible shaving advice. Do you acknowledge that you gave me bad advice? You said shave against the grain. I did say that. Okay. Well, this guy took your advice. Uh Uh-oh. And he's got lacerations all (laughs) along his neck. Are you serious? Look, here's a photo. He said, I watched the new families and oh took care against God. the grain advice. Do not recommend. Dad? <laughs> I would think? suggest trying a new razor instead of maybe one that's six months old. You think that's the problem? I mean, a good, sharp razor should not Dude, cause that problem. Dude, if you go against the grain, it pulls the hair out of your neck. Yow. He's really cut Every, up. Wait, you're still, standing, you're still standing with against the grain. That's how I shave. Wow. And look, no scars. Wow. That I can see, anyway. You I'm use an electric change. razor. Uh, not for this area. You really oh, you use a regular straight, do you? Close enough. But, all right, well, well. Uh, speaking for H3, uh, you know, when you we are, are responsible, which I'm not claiming we are, in case <laughs> you have an attorney, uh, <gasps> good luck. Put some uh, aloe on there. It'll be fine. Okay, and shaving advice, keep doing the same thing. Just get, get an, a new razor. Get an electric <laughs> razor. Okay, get an electric razor. That poor guy. Wow. Cold-blooded. And gingers, really, that didn't apply to gingers anyway, so there's that. You're saying that people who have red hair need to use different techniques? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> just saying that because he had red hair, of course, but it's always a good idea. I mean, obviously, the thicker your any, beard. Any other stereotypes you want to throw out there? Against marginalized groups. You know what? I, I've got some <laughs> info about gingers. Oh, when God. you go under anesthetics, yeah. they actually take more anesthetics than someone who has brown hair or blonde hair. And that's the truth. Check, that. check it. And that's the truth. That's the truth. That is. Yeah, we got a fact. No facts. That. That's the no wrong facts. expression. No uh, facts, all, all printers. printer. That's all, no facts, all, all printers. printers. All. But it, no, Dan. But it's but it's not what it, touch the grass. Yeah. Okay, uh, UCIHealth.org, whatever that is, says uh, they need about gingers need about twenty percent more anesthesia to Thank be sedated. You? Why did you know that? I don't know. I 
I don't know. I just know that. What does that mean about I learned it somewhere. that they need more anesthesia? I don't know. Yeah, that's a weird... But I knew that. How about left-handed gingers? Do they have the oh, statistics dear. for that? Well, anyway, uh, get, my dad made a really interesting cameo uh, that rolled upon our desk. You know what you did? You made a cameo? My dad made a cameo that uh, made it to the subreddit. Uh-oh. What did you say? Here, I'll read it to you. $50 is everything. Watch Gary celebrate my friend's love for Team Skeet. Hey. <laughs> did you know you messed up here? Wait, do you mean that everything that I'm sharing with the people on Cameo, can Absolutely. everybody else can of read it? Of course we can, and we are. Well, what is if they want it private? They can Okay. Thank you. Don't Jeff. do that. I'm going to check. I want to watch back. everything. <laughs> well, but it's up to the buyer. The, there's an option okay. of whether or not. No, they... you guys got to keep it public. It's important for us. For, as, I mean, I don't yeah, care, keep, but I'm just saying public. for the for someone who I'm saying wants the audience the has the ability to choose that. Either. Oh, they can. Oh, yeah, they can. Okay, yes. I see. Fifty dollars is everything. Watch Gary celebrate my friend's love for Team Skeet. These guys need to be paying you. You know, it was Team Skeet that paid you, that made this cameo request for you, knowing that I would do this. I don't, do you know that for a fact? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hey, it's their 50 bucks, whatever they want to do. That's a good, I know, man. Well, anyway, here's my dad making a shout out. Now he's being paid to be making shout outs to Team Skeet. What? Yep. You did a shout out to Keen, Keem's... Team Skeet. Team Skeet? Yeah, just out of the goodness of my heart. He, no, well, 50 man. bucks. I 50 mean, bucks. dude, you should be, you should be I, making more money than that. What am I... So what did you say? Raise the price for a request for Team Skeet. <laughs> Team Skeet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here it is. How are you? This is Gary Klein from the H3 Families podcast. <laughs> Father of Ethan. Husband of Donna. Your good friend Tony asked me to reach out to you and uh, give you praise for your love of Team Skeet. He says, Praise uh, for love of Team My Skeet. friend Ned loves Team Skeet. Can you please celebrate him? Well, congratulations for your love of Team Skeet. <laughs> I'm sure they would be the first ones to agree with me. Now, not knowing you two guys, I don't know whether this is a bit sarcastic, a bit humorous, but whatever. You make the request, I'm going to fulfill it for you. <laughs> so um, I guess my origins with Team Skeet went back to my initial conversations trying to defend myself well at any rate we don't you know <laughs> yeah, that wasn't embarrassing and it's just funny i mean check in with team skeet and you'll be able to get your own what team are you skeet wearing shirt and look at your, your shirt it's like represent h3 so, hat and uh, shirt thank you both oh, that's very a, much. such an old it. shirt it looks very comfortable no i like that he's representing h3 you know that wasn't there a commercial where the guy goes with the dating thing is. and is oh, it's funny ball. when when <laughs> The top comment, this is so dense with information. It's tremendous value for $50. <laughs> He's a Canadian. Oh, my God. Someone said you're already becoming a clout demon. Be careful, Dad. A clout demon? Read the comments. It's funny. When Mom called me in to help her record one of her cameos, I changed shirts, so my shirt would look better. <laughs> and on my cameos, I'm, it looks uh, like I slept in it, which I may well have. But uh, all right, let's get so here. Here we've we've actually got a lot planned for our, our final episode. Here, okay. my mom put together. You guys have probably heard that there's a big recall going on in California. Yes, Gavin Newsom, our governor, is being recalled. Um, by let let me be honest, I am not in favor of this recall. I am Team Gavin. I mean, I'm not Team Gavin. Let's not say that. But like the the alternatives are doo doo dog poo poo. There's like anti vaxxers really? and shit on that. I think someone with that name is running actually. Doo doo dog poo poo. Yeah, there's governor? like fifty six yeah. people. One I mean, the alternatives are are literally like wow, horrible, wow, yeah. wow, horrible, wow. horrible. So at horrible. any rate, my but my mom's main focus is nothing. She did an analysis of all the top contenders running for governor on how good they are with the butterflies. Towards the environment, right. No, 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 butterfly. Well, butterflies equals environment. Set the ocean on fire as long as the butterflies survive. Well, no, I don't want to set okay. the ocean on fire either. Okay, so we're doing that, which we'll do now. And then we also took gave you guys a narcissism test. Did you guys take that? I took it. It didn't. Uh, that was kind of a weird test. Well, it's we, the dark triad. We'll, we'll talk about that 
when it's pulled up because I have a few comments on okay, that. Okay, so we all took that previously, the dark triad. It's okay. a, it's Didn't a, we do that once before, like way back? Didn't we no. Take a and we've got advice coming up. We've got a retrospective. We're going to have a lot of fun here. So, Mom, tell us who okay. is good for the butterflies. Go ahead. Gavin Newsom. You know, I, I don't want to get political. It doesn't matter if you're Republican or you're a Democrat. Uh, or an independent. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with your choice of politics. What about a ginger? Uh, gingers are all good. Okay. Cause I, all heard good. They, <laughs> I heard it takes more anesthesia. No, no, no. They match the, the monarch, so okay, they're okay, all good. Okay, okay. Um, so, you know, I, I took the liberty of, you know me and my notes. I, I, I wrote some things down here. And first of all, the Sierra Club opposes the recall. Okay. So that's number one. That should give you a little Do bit. Do they of, have any any specific stance on the monarch yeah, butterflies? Okay. Well, no, they don't have a stance particularly. They didn't shout out the monarch butterflies. But uh, the recall would disrupt and halt progress on policies that California need now hmm. and a distraction from critical issues facing the state like the pandemic and climate change. So there we go, climate change. You so, know, okay. Um, and who is behind this whole thing? I mean, that's what you have to look for. Who did this recall? What? Follow the, the money. M- Follow the money. Boom. Exactly. Follow the butterfly. The man behind the curtain are the polluting industries, people. Really? Yes, indeedy doody. Give me indeedy doody. Indeedy doody. Give me the deep. Give me the dirty deep. Well, you know, let me just tell you that. Um, the three top contenders. Well, one of them is is the one of them who uh, who looks like he has a really strong uh, chance of winning. Is what's this, his name? His name is Larry Elder. He's he's like the the top contender, and he's actually giving Newsom uh, a run for his money. I think he has a, a good chance in this race, and um, you know he it. It's it's very strange. He um, he doesn't he denies the existence of systemic racism, which is really odd because the man is black. So I don't understand that he's opposed. Uh, he opposes gun control of any kind. He thinks minimum wage should be abolished. I mean, <laughs> I really? That. He doesn't believe in masks for teachers. He doesn't or believe students, in masks for or teachers vaccinations. or students. He's, he doesn't he, believe in vaccinations? He doesn't believe in testing. For, he doesn't believe in testing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, but what does he think about butterflies? He doesn't like them. He doesn't like them. Well, hold on. What's his environmental policy? Well, he wants to, he wants to completely cut out uh, the environmental uh, act that, that Newsom has set forward here. Let me find. Here it is. Newsom has a $4.1 billion environmental bill hmm. that uh, he... Cheddar. It, yeah, January 9th on 2020, and it's it's really important for the environment. And, um, you know, like I said, the Sierra Club backs him. All these environmentalists back him. And and you know who else backs him? Donna, the butterfly yes, god. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you know what? All of you, uh, you know, I would never get political, but I'm just saying, you know, it's the... It's the uh, the industry. He wants to de- deregulate uh, building codes so that people, so the builders can just go out and start, you know, housing projects, and that's going to just totally rip apart the habitat. You know, the butterflies are hanging on by a string. The animals that live in this area, the insects, the butterflies, the bees. You know, um, insects. Well, well, you know, I mean, well, all the I, insects. Got, you lost me at insects. Well, you know, there's there's all kinds of creatures. Are insects? Yeah, of course they oh, are. Well, we love insects. Phylum yeah. Lepidoptera, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Okay, so we are we are you pro know? Gavin. Yeah, Gavin. and and the 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 election is coming up in September. What is it? The ninth? Fifteenth, I the believe. The Dude, one of the craziest things. Oh wait, 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 wait. What? Let me just tell you one more thing. <laughs> Whose show right. is Sorry. this, hey, Ethan? Come on, right, Ethan. When, <laughs> <laughs> when, if you're not registered to vote, get registered. If you're registered to vote, you would have is gotten. Is there a cutoff? I don't think so. I think on the recall, California. Sure. You can, I don't think so, but 
can the person with the actual political science degree make a brief comment on oh. this, on the, the closeness what of the... the what was the YouTube comment you made? I have a I have a BA in political science from UCLA, or right. what was it? Well, as I'm I, kind uh, of a political genius. What, one of the most prestigious universities in, Go ahead, in the country. Go ahead, political genius. Um, <laughs> the, the closeness of the race is uh, based upon the fact that any time there's uh, a single issue like this, the people who are for the recall, which are basically Republicans, are super highly motivated. Mm -hmm. So polls show 85 percent, 80 percent of Republicans are going to vote. Democrats are very complacent. It's like, ah, Newsom's doing great. What do we have to worry about? So only 45 percent or so of Democrats are excited to get out and vote. So uh, if that actually happens, then uh, the replacement just needs to finish first. They don't even need more than 20% of the vote to become governor for the next year. So can't be complacent. And all you have to do is mail your ballot back in. Everyone got ballots mailed to them. So, oh, Larry, move back a little bit. Uh, uh, just fill that ballot in. He's watching. Mail it in. He's very, very him. important. Okay, can I say something? I, it's about butterflies, but to be honest, this went off the rails a little bit. Like, I wasn't actually trying to give you guys a political soapbox. I yeah, thought it would be fun. Uh, yeah, you know what, Gary? This whole thing I wanted to avoid <laughs> was saying Democrat-Republican because it's not a Democrat or Republican issue. It's a butterfly issue. issue. Stop being so political. There, it's a butterfly it's issue. It's a butterfly I've issue. I've seen Stop. footage of, of Larry Elder actually pulling the wings off of butterflies. <gasps> so there's that, Whoa, too. that is cruel. Okay, all I have to say is... <laughs> You know, they're they we have to protect these creatures. They can't they don't have a say. And and so many of these wonderful little animals are in trouble. And people did you like say he pulled a gun on his ex wife or he something. He did. Like, he pulled think? a gun on his as, as a matter right. of fact That's pretty now that's a good now let's talk about that. I like last that. week his fiance accused him of verbal Stop. and emotional emotional abuse it's and, right there in and, the and he title, took man, a gun and he was checking to see if if there was ammo in it which was very now, intimidating if he's willing to do that to a person I imagine what he'd be he, willing to do to a butterfly okay i don't think he actually held the gun and pointed it at her well, what does it he say? took out it the says, gun and brandished it and checked to see if if it had uh if it was loaded so you know you that's a little intimidating a little you can read the caption underneath there do you there's a caption you want someone to read something yeah right below me there we go. Larry Elder's ex fiance alleges a gun incident. He denies it. L.A. Times. So do your own investigation. People. All right. But, save the butterflies, okay, people. So, this is off the rails. But one thing, one thing I do want to say, mm -hmm. it's really important. Mm -hmm. When you get your ballot, make sure that you, you, know, you put in the ballot into the envelope. And if you turn it around, the part that you lick and you seal, you have to put your signature on there. Don't turn it back. <laughs> Don't send it back without a signature. They'll just throw it away. Turn it over, it's, I it believe say, you It mean. says, and he, it says you, trust me, it's hard to, thank you. Okay, well, you know. Right. Any and other, uh, sign the back. You want to comment on DeSantis or any other uh, deep political cuts? I don't want to get into politics. I only care about, you know, Ron the environment. Ron DeSantis? All right, all right, all right. I'm kidding. Let's go to a commercial break. When we come back, we got plenty more to do. Stay tuned. It's Families, the final episode. Yay! Rocket! This microphone is hitting the market, and I got to say, this thing is slick and impressive. And it's a fantastic thing. What is the rocket? If you've watched us, maybe you've thought, hey, I want to do that too. Maybe you want to start a podcast, but you feel like you might have some imposter syndrome. Well, the Torch Mic from Rocket is here to make you and your content sound fully legit with pro-grade sound quality. I'll tell you from personal experience, the sound is so much more important than the picture. Because if the picture is grainy and crappy looking... Uh, you know, you can kind of infer what's going on, but if the sound is audio, if the audio is bad, you can't listen. It kills right, the whole thing. Right. Audio needs to be perfect. The Torch mic is packed with pro features, including a dual condenser design, 24-bit audio quality, and up to 48 uh, hertz sampling. That's audio nerd speak for high-quality sound. The Torch also includes some really cool features that are especially helpful for streamers, like a gesture-activated mute button. How cool is that? Oh. So you can quickly mute your mic without affecting the rest of your content. Bop. Oh, that's Good night. Good. Yeah. Hello. That's smart. The Torch mic 
also has mixer style controls that allow gamers to adjust the settings, volume control, and different pattern all on the fly without installing any drivers. Right here. This is awesome. Yeah, you got all the settings right here. Um, yeah, we tried the mic out. It sounds fantastic. I mean, it's it's clean. It's yeah, I was impressed. And what for like a hundred hundred bucks or something? I mean, yes, sir. That's wow, a, that's a great that's price. It's a steal. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So get yourself a torch mic today and get professional quality sound. Just click the link in the description. Where uh, we yeah. So just go to the description, click the link. It's B I T. It's point. <laughs> it's one B I T. Uh, period L Y slash. 3GQBRUB. <laughs> yeah, Rubber baby biker. Take it from biker. me. Just go to this link. Go to the description and click the link. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to HelloFresh. You know HelloFresh. They are the pre measured ingredients with mouth watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. You get to skip the grocery store. Uh, home cooking is made easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why HelloFresh is number one. America's number one meal kit, mom. I think it's genius because, yeah. you know, when you're busy working, you come. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make some HelloFresh tonight because um, I've got cameos to do. <laughs> so I'm not cooking. Man, you do not miss an opportunity <laughs> to plug your cameo. It's impressive. Oh, no. You know, Maybe I should take that test over again. <laughs> the Machiavelli. Right. <laughs> but I do like Hello uh, Fresh. I think it's it's good. <laughs> Hello Fresh, you know, I agree. I love it. It's we, really we, good. Uh, we cook it all the time. And the thing is, if you're too busy, if you don't want to go to the grocery store and get a bushel of celery when you just need a little bit, right? It gives you everything you need to make a delicious, uh, you know, home cooked meal. Uh, getting better value. Hello Fresh is over 30% cheaper than shopping at the grocery store because they've got pre-portioned ingredients that ensures you won't spend money on excess food then that ends up going in the trash. You know, Hello Fresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, from vegetarian meals to calorie smart choices to extra special gourmet options. And there's something for everyone to enjoy with recipes designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. So, we've got a special offer, too, for our uh, audience. If you go to HelloFresh.com slash Families14 and use code Families14, you're going to get up to 14 free meals. Wow. Including free shipping. Wow. Wow, wow, wow was right. Sign That's me up. That's HelloFresh.com slash Families14. Use code Families14 for 14, up to 14 free meals. Wow. And, you know, remember, guys, there's a reason it's America's number one meal kit yay if you're carrying around a credit bounce month after month it can feel like you're never in a never-ending cycle of debt and upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online whether it's paying off credit cards consolidating high interest debt or funding personal expenses over half a million people have used upstart to get one fixed monthly payment Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income, current employment, to find you a smarter rate for your loan. And with a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. And you can receive your funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. So... Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash h3. That's Upstart. Dot com slash H3. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Remember, that's upstart.com slash H3. <laughs> All right, we are back, and we are here to gauge how much of psychopaths, basically, you guys are. <laughs> And I'm suspecting, I think my mom's pretty normal, but my dad should be off the charts, I feel like. I hope. <laughs> I mean, just a guess. The dark triad, we did this before with uh, Dr. Young on the show and Dr. Drew, and we did it with Trisha and, and everybody, and I think basically A, B, and Zach scored kind of high. Trisha was off the charts. A, B scored yeah. high? I'm surprised. I'm not. Really? Okay. If I recall, he was only <laughs> high in one of the three categories, but it was really high in one of the three he categories. He was he was high. I forget. No, he he's got a little. Uh, he's a certain. What can I say? He's he's a go getter. 
Well, you know, you that, get that's it. a good thing. Yeah, that's a, li- a good trait. A little, a little narcissism is good. I, but then you look at, I- so Ian got the lowest score they had ever seen. <laughs> he got like a one. <laughs> They're like, the, he got like the receiving rating. I feel of like therapy. I'm going to be like so, that. And I think I got a seven, which was like on the low side of, you know. Dan, did you take the test too? I did. Uh, Ethan and I's were about the same. Oh, yeah, both of us were right in the middle. Perfect of, score. Of the pack. They, Dr. Young said Ethan and Dan had the perfect score. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's no such thing as a perfect score. <laughs> well, this only showed zero to four, though. At least the results. I think you I add them at. cumulatively. Is the, the way it was worded though is what bothered Wait, there's only, me. So I don't think that they did an official test because we just went to some involved. website. Yeah, I mean, we we actually had people doctors stepping us through it and explaining it this was just a survey online so I don't know if this it's a little less prepared. official but go ahead dan what 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 uh what do we see uh i actually i, I put the results in your doc if you want to pull that up oh. for the audience okay, let's start see. with my mom here hi i'm probably get like a wimp or something let's see <laughs> so according to this it says that you need help urgently <laughs> okay let's see the test is complete i can't see it says be prudent about sharing results. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I don't Oh, it's care. percentile. Well, it's you get a score and then the percentile is the percentile of people that you are higher than. So, so you're pretty low on You're 11 you are you had a higher narcissism than 11% of people that take the test. So that means you're pretty low. Right. A little bit higher on the Machiavellianism. <laughs> it's out of 4, so you have a 2 out of 4. I see. So she did so this may be yeah, this is a low one. I think it means you are not, you are I'm a noodle. Uh, not a psychopath. Yeah, not a psychopath. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> so, according to this, it looks like you got about a, you know, 4.2 or something. So, so very good, mom. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The butterflies are happy. Listen, you know. I wish we had more insight, you know, like when we did us, but okay. So, here's my dad. All right. Hmm. This is the one I'm oh. curious about. We should talk about some of the way that those questions were worded. Go though. ahead. What, what, what was some examples? Well, I mean. Uh, oh, stop it, Dad. You lied on your test. No way. <laughs> Here's my dad's, which for some reason I can't even see because it's so dark. Apparently, Dad scored even lower than Mom. Wow. Sociopathy zero? You lied. No, point four. It says you have a zero. Nobody, zero dude, dude, you. That says no. You are the least sociopathic person in the world. Totally believable. Well, not <laughs> you in the freaking world. lied, bro. Just of people that have taken this test, zero percent. It's, uh, it's psychopathic, not, not sociopathic. Okay, psychopathy, even better. So you believe that you got psychopathy? Psychopathy. Thank you. And and if anyone is curious about. Uh, Machiavelli. I, I have a degree in political science, and <laughs> yeah, I can I explain Machiavelli relates. to everyone. I think which that's is, more of a psychological. Well, Donna program. had a higher Machiavellian rating than you. I Maybe never read the have a degree in So my dad science. scored higher on narcissism, but every but zero. I mean, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Sha- okay, dude, listen. To psychopa- psychopathy reflects shallow emotional responses. My dad scored a zero. What do you think about that, mom? Clapping for myself. I, wait, I gotta go over these questions. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, you. some of the questions were a- were asked. Wait, put the test in here, Dan. I'm gonna I'm gonna quiz my dad and get on- honest answers out of him. Well, you know, it's pretty easy to figure out what the right answers are. So, so. you did cheat? No, I, that's no. The right you, answer would no be There's no way that. you got a zero. I didn't compose the test. I just took the test. Okay, I'm gonna fact check you now. All right. Let's do this test together. Mom, All I right. believe you're uh, sane. You're a saint. Uh, thank you. You're, you're a butterfly saint. Thank you. You're Dad, leaving part of that out. Okay. Dad, let's do this test. It is not wise to tell your secrets. That's... I would agree. That's People a good tell one. you a secret. They expect you to keep it in okay. confidence. Right. People see me as a natural leader. No, I was neutral on that. I would, so I I come on. Some you don't. Think, no, it's... You don't think you'd... if you were on yeah. a jur- jury, if you had jury duty, you would definitely. And if you had leader. to be part yeah. of the jury, you don't think that you would take the part of leader. Definitely, unless would. somebody well, was. I have an so idea. Much... Okay, so I think you agree. Let's I be think, honest. I mean, unless someone was so You're much. You're a natural leader. 
I don't know. You're a natural leader. We Come agree. Well, well. I like to get revenge on authorities. No. Oh, you won't buy certain products because <laughs> of your your ideas. Like like I re- actually well, I was the revenge. same way. So maybe that I maybe I let's missed. I read I read that differently. But, <laughs> no, what but do you like, call revenge? No, I disagree. Okay, see the see that's the thing. It uses He's the deluded. word re- it it re- it uses the word revenge. I mean, if you feel strongly like we wouldn't buy tuna fish for a while because they were throwing well, nets that, that, over that's dolphins. Not revenge on yeah, that's not. No. That's that's like saying like let's say you that was hate like your what boss. Jessica did. Remember hate, what Jessica did yes. when she worked for you? Tell, go ahead, tell what she did. Oh my it's god! A good I don't oh. think he'll ever young. hear it. Still hasn't made it to the public. I think I don't. Th- well, it was like a long. She yeah, was just young. Don't I'm going to just spill the beans. No, don't Jessica. name names except yeah, for don't Jessica. Say names. I, well, I'm just out. Jessica. I mean, we all know we're talking about our daughter. Don't say any names of Je- Jessica. She was a worked time. for right. Gary at the bike shop for a while, and this person that used to be there. She made she disliked him and she made a sandwich and she put laxative in there. <laughs> and he had a uh, bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that That's way. That's revenge on authority. That is revenge. That's I would revenge. never in a million years. Okay, so are do you that. neutral on revenge on authorities? Yeah, n- neutral or disagree. Let's do neutral. I like to use clever manipulation to get my way. I was a so m- you middle agree. So I, you. I wasn't a full agree. But Let's a have mom agree. give the answers. And oh see what's my going god! Right. Yeah, she's Gary. Okay. Okay. You manipulate your daughters. Is really good at manipulating. Okay, good. So you we guys agree. are good at that. This is awesome. And then you know what we should do? Yo, I, this is so much better. And then, Dad, you do mom score. <laughs> okay. And then we can see okay. the real <laughs> result. Let, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my god, okay. that could be scary. Okay. Okay, I hate being the center of attention. Uh, disagree. I, no, I don't totally disagree. disagree. Dad, Dude, loves you are the center of attention. To be whenever we get into a group, yes, you like to you are dominate the, the conversation. Again, depends the on the circumstances. Okay, mom, you answer. You answer. He loves to dominate yeah. the conversation. Exactly. And just shut up. He what do you mean by it? that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He enjoys okay. it. Okay, I here, mean, you know, he doesn't want to like, hey, look at me, but he I does. He you. does enjoy it. Okay, so then I avoid dangerous situations. Um, I'd say absolutely. Because we're going to do agree. That's true. Um, whatever it takes, you must get the important people on your side. I was. Neutral. I don't know. I would say neutral on okay. that too. Many group activities tend to be dull without me. Neutral. Yeah, I'd say that's neutral. Ethan looks disappointed. <laughs> I, I agree with neutral. It's fine. Payback needs to be quick and hasty. No, I think dad's more calculating. Revenge is a dish best served cold, as yep. Klingon say. That's my fault. So you're saying you're disagreeing. Correct. Avoid direct conflict with others because they may be useful in the future. I don't Disagreed. know about that. I mean, that's just obvious. Ma- that's you know, weird... manipulating people, so I, I was going to disagree. disagree on that. Yeah. I know that I'm special because everyone keeps telling me. <laughs> well, no. no one tells me that, no. so no. <laughs> disagree. People often say I'm out of control. I say that about you every day. I don't, no, I'm not. He's um, out of control. You know, I don't disagree. know. Out of control well, is. Well, that means he's like up to. Yeah, okay, yeah so out of disagreeing. control is not like. That's well, not think me. Sometimes. Back to when a teenager. Okay. Oh, how far back are we going? Yeah, I was out of control then. Weren't most teenagers? Okay, you, you're the one doing the rating. I wasn't okay. rubbing, putting it, dog shit the, on people's doors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You blame Sean for that. Yeah, anyway. well, maybe you should be supervising us closer. Um, Gotta go to work. You know, when, when you, w- read, the, read it again so I can People hear People ru- often say I'm out of control. You know, I wouldn't say he's out of control, but having said that... <laughs> Um, Remember, I'm grading you next. I know. I think <laughs> sometimes it's almost. Let's say my out, agree. No, it's not that he's out of control. He's never out of control. It's just that sometimes I wish he would he would uh, be more in control. He's too lackadaisical. Okay, so let's don't That's strongly disagree. So. Control issue. Though. It's That's, wise to keep track of information that you can use against people later. I would mildly agree with that. I would agree with that, too. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I like to get acquainted with important people. That's a big agree on Dad. 
I think Dad likes to. Yeah, that's yeah. a big agree. I think Next he, to agree. I think it's that true he that does. I can be mean to others. Yes. I would agree. I, yes. Is sarcasm being mean? Oh, my that's God. I don't, I don't think of you as a mean person, but I find that interesting that you guys both agreed on uh, that. You so know, I think sometimes. I think that, you know, activity on the Internet has made it easy to be mean to people without it being consequential. That's not what I'm referring to. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, you should let's. wait for the right time to get back at people. That seems like you're definitely you're agree. Agree. I feel embarrassed if someone compliments me. Disagree, big time. D disagree. Yeah, wait till mom gets that one. <laughs> people who mess with me always I regret it. I didn't even it. answer. People that mess with me always regret it. No, I got neutral. Yeah, well, you, neutral. you're really good at sarcasm. But I don't to think disagree. That you would say yeah. yeah. There are things you should hide from other people because they don't need to know. I think that that's, well, yeah, you know, I, I, I would, would agree want with that. that's... my dirty laundry so aired. We're agree. Yeah. We agree. I'm just trying to skew this to the most psychotic I can make it. <laughs> would expect nothing less. I've been compared to famous people. Agree. Well, uh, well yeah. like Stephen King, like Stephen King, you and, look like Stephen and, King. and and Colonel Sanders. That okay. is true. I mean, that's you know, physically. Now, see, that's a, that's have. a weird way Let's that do agree. The, the yeah, it's worded strange. I've never gotten into trouble with the law. That is true. That's true. Out of pure luck, of course, from <laughs> my younger days. But um, so make plans to benefit you, not others. Disagree. disagree. Okay, I'm an average person. Disagree. No, you're not an average person. I enjoy having sex with people I hardly know. I mean, wow. In his, in his younger days. Okay, I agree. Just be <laughs> yeah. honest. In my younger yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. Most people can be manipulated. I say a lot of people can be manipulated. Not you or dad. <laughs> I, I would I go mean, to, are you, next, are you asking to me strong if he agree. manipulates yeah. people? The, yeah. The between neutral and agree. Okay, spot. we're doing agree. I insist well, on getting the respect I deserve. You know what I'm saying there, right? If you're keeping score. I'm keeping score. Oh, you're keeping score. I insist score. on getting the respect I deserve. I don't know if he insists on it, but. I'm Gumby, damn it. Give me I'm respect. Gonna, I'm going to say I agree. Uh, neutral? Yeah, neutral. I'll say anything to get what I want. Disagree. All right, let's see. Now yeah, here's the I real see. test. I thought I was supposed to do this. You're next. Okay, now no, we're I talking. No, I mean like Now answer. we're talking. Your answer. Here's the real results. See, he manipulates. He answered the questions instead of me. Uh, totally. Now here's the real results. <laughs> yeah, real results. Uh-oh. It is. The Machia of Narcissism, Whoa, 70%. Wait, well, well, you got I, bumped I up to 60. No, what you put down is my answer. Everything we said. I didn't cheat. We had disagreements on some of those, but whatever. Well, it's still very low on uh, uh, so, uh, psychopathy, psychopathy. Which would be good. Yeah. yeah. But Machiavellianism and narcissism, you're pretty high. But not terribly high. Yeah, I think no, this is accurate. No, Jessica and I have discussed the... <laughs> narcissism and selfishness uh, gene that comes from my side of the family. Oh, God. But we are constantly fighting it as we become so more there you, So you agree this is more accurate. This is good. But now let's get to mom, oh, who I God. also suspect. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There's some problems with this test. Okay, so dad, this is your turn. Okay, just to show you in my previous statement about uh, revenge is a dish best served cold. Uh -oh. Dish can get cold this quickly, so it's revenge time. Uh -oh. All right, it's hey, not. I don't think I was mean no, to we you. Were not up. I, I'm, I'm kidding, kind of. <laughs> well, Dan, Dan, well, we kind of made a good point. We, th we think we went light on you because oh. we said you don't seek out dangerous acts, but like half of everything I've talked about you is either trying to kill me in the car or stabbing beach balls or getting in fights at Star Wars premieres. Right, but it, it's the test taker's perception of danger, I no. think. And growing up, I was always kind of the chicken of the group. People were doing dangerous things, and I was just like, eh, no, I don't think I'm... But Dad do doesn't that. seek out dangerous activities. No, I mean, the Star Wars people, that those those You're guys assaulted us. We, we had nothing to All do All right, you that. ready? It's not wise to tell your secrets. I think Mom would I agree think it would agree that. There's that. a good... Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think it's a good idea. Secrets. Yeah, exactly. Someone tells me a secret... Mom's mm -mm. the word. Mom's the... Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not going to... People share. see me as a natural leader. 
Well, the mm. dawn arcs and the butterflies would all agree with that, of course. But I, I don't think I see myself neutral. as. A, I would just okay, neutral. I, yeah. I think I was neutral. I think I put. That I like down. to get revenge on authorities. No, she's not a ve- a revengey type person. No, I like to use clever manipulations to get my way. No, I'm not manipulative at all. I wish I was. <laughs> yeah, neutral. I really wish I was. I hate being the center of attention. Disagree. You th- you like you think I like being the center of attention? I think so. I, like I would go. <laughs> I get the, bare. The middle, I think Dad's right too. The middle degree. column, you know, not the hard <laughs> Maybe here. disagree, but okay, the, okay, yeah. I avoid dangerous decisions. That's for sure. Yeah. Of course, she married me. So. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Little did I know. Whatever it takes, you must get the important people on your side. Disagree. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Many group activities tend to be dull without me. No. Yeah, disagree. That's easy. Disagree. Payback needs to be quick and hasty. I don't really do nasty, any. Nasty. Disagree. Yeah. Oh, quick I, and nasty. Yeah. Quick and nasty. I don't. I don't pay disagree. back. Disagree. Avoid wimp. direct conflict with others because they may be useful in the future. That's a disagree. Too manipulative. Yeah. Damn, mom really does not exist on this. <laughs> this is not a great, very nuanced test, though. Let's not, be honest. It's not at all. Because, like, to score high, you basically have to be like, I am a psychotic Exactly. Freak. That might as well be one of the questions. Yeah. I am Are a you psychopath. a psychotic freak? <laughs> yes. Uh, I know that I'm special because everyone keeps telling me so. No. Disagree. People often say I'm out of control. Oh, Definitely I'm, so, I'm so out of Definitely control. <laughs> it's wise to keep track of information you can use against people later. That's a definitely not, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. I like to get acquainted with important people. I don't think she cares about no, that. I, 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 oh, she important. Like, she up to dad. going to, you know, dinner with, with the edge and that group of people. And I think you, you were I was like just interested in that. that. Going. No, I was kind of, I was kind of embarrassed. Embarrassed. I mean, I was like, why are you inviting me? I felt like I was intruding, actually, to be honest. Well, Dad, it's your choice. I mean, I was, I was, I thought that was nice that you guys included me, but I felt like I I didn't want to intrude. It's true that I can be mean to others. That's true. You can be a little mean at times. To your husband. (laughs) Oh, God. Dad, it's your choice. I I go the, the next to agree. Yeah, that one. Oh, my God. You should wait for the right time to get back at people. Mom's not really a vengeful person. I, I would go neutral. I feel embarrassed if someone compliments me. Wait, so you, you answered, gave the wrong answer there. You wait for the right time? Was that negative? I should wait for the right time right. to, I don't. Uh, do you feel embarrassed when you're complimented? She definitely does. She I, cannot take a compliment, no matter how sincere or honest it is. People who mess with me always regret it. No. Disagree. There are <laughs> things you should hide from other people because they don't need to know. That's a true. I think that's basically yeah, true. Yeah, you know, yes, you agree. Need to I've been compared your... to famous people. Some, yeah, but some yes. people thought I looked like Cher. Okay. So I, you know, I've I, never gotten into trouble with the law. That's agree. No. That's agree. Yes. Make sure your plans benefit you, not others. No. Nah. Mom's not selfish at all. Disagree. I'm an average person. She's way yeah. above average. Disagree. Wait. I mean, I see oh, that. Oh, okay. Disagree. I see that as being pejorative, but that's just my opinion. I think it is. I'm an average person. person. Yeah. Kinda... I enjoy having sex with people I hardly know. <laughs> She's definitely no. agree on that. <laughs> Most, uh, you're kidding, right? I'm kidding. Yeah, okay. Yes. Just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know of. Most people can be manipulated. You said I answered that. I think I think there's a lot of people that not that I would do it. Yeah, but, but you think I so. think. Yeah. I mean, look at all the people that you know Here they comes. they take they take things on the internet and they believe it. Yeah. Like they don't investigate, so they're being manipulated, right? Do you insist yeah. on getting the respect you deserve? Neutral. No, I, I don't think I insist on anything. Respect, if yeah. I say any, I'll say anything to get what I want. Disagree. Who's going to admit to that? No, I don't. I wouldn't. All right, mom is probably her score probably didn't change that much. Probably not. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's a lot higher than it was. Was it? What was it before? Or was it? Is it not? Uh, yeah, no, it's a, it, was it was about a little higher. It's you're seventeen percent on narcissism, eleven percent Machiavellian. And zero, you got that coveted zero. And she actually dropped on that psychopathy. 
The original uh, percentiles for her were 11, 20, and 1. How so. did we go down oh, to Machiavellian? I don't know. You guys answered. So, Dad, you know what's cu- actually really sweet? Dad gave you the score, and you got a better score with Dad picking. You're welcome. You can thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Dad is a psychopath, as we all uh, knew. <laughs> oh, no, not a psychopath. Not a narcissist a psych- yeah. and a Machiavellian. Just because of my poli sci degree. But right, of course. You are you are highly educated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. Pretty interesting. Fascinating. Well, what stuff. is that say? Fascinating, yeah. yes. Fascinating. What does that say? It sounds a, it says it's a says, dumb test. Yeah, I was it gonna does, say it, 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 it sounds like a dumb, a dumb test. test. Are you wanna do some advice and then we'll do a sure. little bit of a retrospect that we put together? Okay. A little bit of an edit for us to enjoy. Okay. That sounds like fun. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the, remember, this is the dump him button. Oh, so okay. So if you ever think I that somebody should just dump him, you just hit that. I will. And remember about. Oh, wait. What was the word? No grass. Touching the grass. No, wait. <laughs> no grass. <laughs> Touch the grass. No, it wasn't smoke the grass. <laughs> You're making that up. He's not making that just up. Touch yeah. the grass. It's Touch, no, stop, Touch the, smoke the grass. Touch the grass. It's you need to touch grass. We need to touch grass. Touch grass. Touch, touch grass. grass. Yeah. What is it? Touch grass. Okay. What is it? Oh, stop. All right, here we go. My nine-year-old is on TikTok. Hello, Ethan and Donna. I get this one. You right. don't really know that much about TikTok, so we'll take the lead on this one. Well, I... Okay, go ahead. Um, I feel you guys would have some realistic advice for me. I'm a single mom of a nine-year-old girl who is constantly asking to be on TikTok. I don't like this idea for three reasons. One, there are predators who will watch her videos and do, uh, and do who knows what, and do who knows what with those videos. Two, there's a lot of adult themed videos. And three, there are children her age who are not being monitored by their parents and watching, commenting inappropriate things. A lot of my videos on TikTok have comments from kids my daughter's age asking me to take my shirt off and work. Whoa. It makes me uncomfortable, but there's no way to filter this app to keep the kids off. What would you guys recommend? Should I stick to my guns on TikTok because I know what people what the videos are like, or should I just let her on the app and have her see it because someday she will? Anyway, that's a tough one. Honestly, because- Aren't there regulations of some kind? Like it, it, for for minors? Well, obscenity. No, there's no minor regulation. Well, I think there's obscenity. I, they don't allow. No, you can you, you can curse. I think I think their their terms of service is probably like 14 or something. Maybe you can look into that, Dan. And but no, obviously, that doesn't prevent anyone from going on TikTok. I, you know, if you're under, I wrote down here. I you know I. Um, well, I meant no nudity. They don't allow nudity no. on the site. No, but there's pretty risque stuff on there for sure. I, th- I, th- I think there's some sort of restriction if you're under the age of 13 that you can't yeah. post or you can't do something. I looked it up. It's 13. You have to be 13 to use that. I think... I think Stick to your guns. Saying she want, oh, so if you're... But how do you prove that you're 13? How does that even work? I mean, just like I think, you don't, just like anything. Yeah, but, they'll but by the letter. Oh, of, so right. you can just lie and say I'm. People just lie. On the they just lie on the Would internet. Somebody it's do true. that. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Can you believe people just go on the internet and lie? Oh, I then think you that's do really it hard by... to regulate. I thought maybe yeah. there was some kind of parental digital well, nah. button that She's you can push there isn't, or something. There's not. So honestly, wow. that's a tough one because I spent a lot of time on TikTok. And there's some wild shit on that app. I'll tell you what, man. There is some really inappropriate stuff there. Stick uh, to your guns, I say. There's there's one comment that's always funny whenever I see a video that really like is like, wow, I can't believe this is on the app. They always comment, people are way too comfortable on this app. And there's a lot of that. So Everybody it's, and their Aunt Susie's on that. Cause Aunt I w- Susie? Yeah, I was thinking, it's an expression. I, I was Aunt Susie? I, I have no idea. It's just an expression. Everyone in your Aunt Susie. How do you know Aunt Susie's on the app? Because everybody's on the app, so Aunt Susie must uh, be on you it. Talk to Aunt Susie. But... I, I... <laughs> oh. You know, I, I. Um... Speaking metaphorically. Yeah, metaphorically, exactly. I was thinking of getting onto TikTok, but I like, wh- I don't know. That it's just like it's crazy. 
It's like the Wild West. Well, you have that wonderful dance video up on TikTok already. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm, right. That's true. So, you know. You should get on TikTok and you should you should post butterfly content on TikTok. I guarantee you, you will have Yeah, you think mass- so? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll help you set it up and we'll promote it on the show. When really? We well, I would do that if I could do things that are you would you know, blow up positive. on tiktok does tiktok pay there's probably even really? butterfly talk like people joke about how there's genres for everything they call it really there's even like a tourette's talk really yeah that trisha kept always talking about it's like but i've a never tourette. i've never been on that side of tiktok but i bet you there's a butterfly talk oh wow okay if not, you could start it and does does tiktok pay a little bit yeah not like well it would TikTok. it would just be you know i that would it's, be it's not a cool to do. 50 bucks a view? Is that? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so anyway, let's, let's, so here's the problem, right? She's a nine-year-old girl. The pro, this is a really tough situation. These, this girl's going to go on TikTok. She's going to be at school. I don't know if she pro- has a phone or what, but her friends have phones. They're all going to be on TikTok. So prohibiting her is not going to totally cut her off TikTok. Right. How do but you it do will that? substantially reduce her exposure to the app. So, you know, there's lots of things to weigh here. It's like she's still going to be exposed to the app via her friend's phones. But if you're asking, should she post videos to TikTok? No. No. That could be scary. It's going to get creepy and weird. I guarantee you the only people that are going to engage with her content are creepy freaks. And that happened on YouTube. That's the case in point. There was there was like kids posting videos to YouTube. And this was a big controversy recently where YouTube turned off all comments for kids content because oh. like dude there was wow. some stuff was so disturbing like there'd be like a, a innocent nine-year-old girl just playing in a room and then these cr- dude i'm telling you it's so disturbing they would go in the comments and timestamp where you could like see her underwear what yeah wow. Ooh. yeah it was so, it was a That's huge nasty. scandal and it was just so Whoa. disturbing people were making like playlists oh my it was, god it was, super, it was like it was a big deal on YouTube where they finally addressed this issue. They turned off comments on all kids Good. stuff and Good. Um, they cleaned it up a lot. So what I'm expecting is if your nine year old daughter's posting videos on TikTok, it's gonna be not it's gonna be unsavory, to to put it mildly. So I for I first of all would not allow her to post until she was thirteen. But how do you stop them? Like you said, if they're at school. Well, well, she's going to, you just didn't accept, she's going to be exposed to TikTok, but she's probably not going to be able to post stuff if she's just at school, right? Well, if she's under 13, right, you can't post. But what happens if she's like... They can't post, you know what I mean? Right. I don't know. I don't know how you would control Look, that. Look, you're going to have to accept you can't control everything in her life. Is she going to use her friend's phone to make an account and post? You can't control it. But what you can control is what happens in your house. And the less exposure, the better. And I think probably what you should do is try to have an honest conversation with her. I mean, she's nine years old. She's, pretty, she's probably a smart girl. She understands a lot of the world. Just say, listen, on TikTok, if you post videos there before you're old enough, you're going to f- attract disgusting people. Scary it's, things. It's, it's going to be gr- it's going to be disgusting, and this is going to be really gross attention that you're not going to want to have. Imagine you're walking around a mall and some old guy comes and starts hitting on you. Like, I mean, that's that's it's it's horrifying. Right. That's what's going to happen on TikTok. Oh, a nine year old little girl. So would be terrified. you don't. You, so it's just say you know it's not it's just not safe for you. Yeah, there's a reason we set age limits for things. Like, she's right. not old enough to drink. I mean, this is one of those things that you need a level of maturity to protect yourself before you participate in it. And I think, hmm. you know, at that young age, you know, you just don't have a concept of the big picture, as you were saying, right. of what potential downside of doing that. They're so innocent, they don't think about that. They just think, oh, this it's, is it's, this is a social media platform. And it's a problem, though, because they probably have a lot of friends that are on TikTok. They want to dance and sing and show off, and, and they don't realize there's a lot of people watching. Well, I, think, I think what would be smart is if you, it, when she's 13, let's say, and you say, okay, you know, you can have a, an account now, it's different if she's just browsing Maybe you could say you can browse, but do not post anything until you're older. And when she does make, you can you can follow her on TikTok and see what she's doing. You can read the comments and you know just see if anything's going sideways there. Oh yeah, I would keep my eye on but it. You have to accept this uh, painful truth: is that you can't control what they're doing, 
and they're going to get into it regardless. So my my theory on that is don't you can't prohibit, you can't control. You got to accept that. All you can do is guide, give advice and help them in an honest, open, loving way. Because at Good the end advice. of the day, that's all you can do, right? So you got to yep. give them the best advice. It's not going to make them hate you, too. Because if you just, hey, you can't use TikTok. I'm not explaining why. You can't use it. I'm taking your phone. Then they're just going to hate you. They're going to resent you. They're going to go on it anyway. Right. And they're not going to know the dangers that they're facing. I think you should tell your daughter at nine years old that you should go out and touch the grass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well said. That was good. Well said. That was a perfect usage. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> so that's it. You know, I, I, it's a tough situation to be in. But yeah, take always take the stance of supporting through communication via banning and uh, control. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. Boy, you know, I wouldn't want to be a parent at this sta- stage. Yeah, it's tricky. It it's really, really tricky. I thought we had it rough. There was no pandemic when we were oh, my God. either. Yeah. Well, a good one. When to tell my partner I used to be a stripper? Hi, Donna, Gary, and Ethan. I was wondering if you guys had any advice on when to tell someone I'm dating that I used to be a stripper. It's not something I mentioned right away because a big concern of mine is safety. I told someone once, and when things ended, they found out and contacted my family and tried to blackmail me. Jesus. Wow. I only did it for a couple of months, two years ago, and it was a really clean club, no funny business. Is it something even worth mentioning? I know it would be a deal breaker for some people. Any advice on how to deal with this part of my past? Thank you. You know, if she was a stripper and... um she said she was doing it just for, to put her, wait, what did she, she say? She said she did it for a few months. Right, just for a few months. I get, you know, I think in, it, when you start dating someone, you know, you're kind of feeling each other out, learning about each other's uh, likes, dislikes. I don't think you should disclose certain things at the beginning until you feel so comfortable that you know you kind of have an idea of who this person is because you don't really want to um share that i don't think because of what from what she said before when she was dating someone and he used it against her that that, seems unusual though that's pretty psycho I yes. don't know. I mean, if I was dating someone, I think I would want to be honest from the start to say, this is who I am. You know, if you like me, fine. If not, let's not even go there. But but I don't know. With a stripper, it might uh, freak somebody out. Maybe once they get to know you, they realize that you're really a good person. And the mere fact that you did this, they can overlook it. But it might put like a, a wall up immediately if you tell them right away. I'm well, as, sure. uh, as someone who's never been in a strip club, <laughs> I can speak to this a little bit. You know, I, I think obviously you're a fairly open-minded person and you need to have a relationship with someone with similar thoughts, similar ideas. So, you know, I would say telling someone right away isn't good, but after you've been in a relationship for a while and you know the person well... Um, It shouldn't be a big deal to explain to someone that you have a good open relationship with that you know would be accepting of something like that, or at least not storm out. Um, You know, it would be okay to mention at that point, I think. What is, uh, I, I don't see any problem with this girl being a stripper. I mean, I don't think that this is something to even necessarily be that ashamed of. I mean, stripping, like, if you were like a prostitute, not that I think there's anything wrong with that either. That's a little harder to, that's like a bigger hurdle kind of to talk right. about just because, you know, it's sex. for obvious reasons. <laughs> Being a stripper, I don't think that's something that you even need to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. I mean, I mean, it depends you, on what your profession is too. I mean, if you do stripping and then later on you want to go into politics, well, maybe sure. not yeah, such a good yeah, thing I mean, to I, do. Obviously, I don't think she's worried about going into yeah. politics. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I, I honestly just, like, if I was with a girl that I really liked and for all the right reasons, and she's like, I used to strip for a few months, I'd be, I would be, I would be but, amused. I mean, what do I care if she stripped? I mean, you, you know. What if, if you were, di- like, on your first date and she shared that with you? 
I honestly would that it, bother it, you? It, I don't think it would bother me. It wouldn't. You wouldn't think twice about. Do I really want to date this girl or not? No. It would bother some guys. And I think that if, guy you probably wouldn't want to listen, date anyway. If she was actively stripping, then it might. Again, it's just it, it's different. It's a whole different. That's a whole different conversation. But if you're like, I used to strip for a few months. I, you know, I'd be like, well, the well, only, you know, the okay. only, the only problem Just with don't see it as being a big deal. Well, and maybe I, she's from a conservative family where they, where they say, if she, people are trying to blackmail or say like, oh, you were a stripper. I'm telling everyone, you know, then I, I don't know. Maybe she's in a part of the world where part of the country where, you know, she's in Saudi Arabia. I, I, but also you're dating the wrong guys, bro. I don't know how yeah. you get hooked up with a guy who's willing to blackmail you like that. I mean, that is literally psychotic. See, see, that's the thing. If when you first start dating someone and you really don't you really don't know who this person is. That's the thing. You know, you you might think you know someone, you see someone, you think you're attracted to him, he was funny or whatever, and you go out on a couple of dates and you go, "You know what? You're not who I thought yeah, you were. Way. And so uh, that's what I'm saying. It's better, like what dad said, it's better to you don't wait need to, bring it up. to ca- kind of get a feel of who sure. this person is. Do you even care to share your sp- secrets with this person? Wait, see where he's at. And then if you're serious and you really think maybe I could like this guy, yeah, then I would be on But honest. don't be embarrassed. Look, don't let don't give them that power of it. You're a stripper. Just fucking own it. You you were yeah. out there, you know, making a living, dude. Times are hard. You got to do what you got to do. I just think she you needs know. to protect herself and not give herself away at the very beginning until she feels comfortable she knows this person. That's But all also, I'm I think if your friends and families and people who like, I mean, I I just think it's it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you should just be proud of who you are. Right. You moved on to different things for whatever reason, and obviously, I don't think you need to be ashamed of it. So, right, go for it. Right, live your life. No, yeah, I, I agree with that. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Weird relationship rules. I've been with my boyfriend for about two years now. I'm a full time student, and my boyfriend is not currently in school. At the end of the day, I look forward to talking to him, but he's almost never willing to talk with me after a long day. We have a relationship rule created by him that we may not see each other more than one time a week. At times, it will be well over a month since I've seen him in person, and sometimes days before I've even spoken to him on the phone. Can I address that? I'm not, well, I'm still reading. Oh, oh sorry. Sometimes days before I've even that spoken. That was enough. He says he is busy but I have his location enabled and he is 99% of the time at home. Donna, please tell me what to do. (laughs) Yeah, I'm with you there. That dude is weird, weird, weird. Don't, no comment necessary. No comment even necessary. That just dude is a weird, weird that guy. Man. Well, oh, this I is the guy. When you, if you date him and he moves in, he'll lock himself in the bedroom. Right, for hours like that other. Day. I think co- it's, they're going to turn other, into that guy. Right, look, right. What I'll say about this guy is, he's clearly got issues. He might be a great guy. He might be all the best things, but like this guy has demons. There's something torturing this man. And if he's not in therapy, if he's not being treated, I mean, God bless him. We're all like born innocent and the and become what we are as a result of things that happen to us our lives. So it's hard to blame people for whatever damage happens to them and cause them the way they be. But you got to live your life that makes you happy. You deserve to be with someone that actually fucking wants to spend time with you every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's maybe wild. he's dating multiple amounts of women, and yeah, so that's knows? why he's limiting her access whatever to their is, relationship. Right? Well, whatever it is. Maybe he just has anxieties, and he's depressed, and you know, whatever problems, he's at home 90% of the time, but if the dude, is, he needs to work on himself. He's not ready to be in a relationship. Yeah, I mean, you want someone as close to normal as possible, and that I is think a he's big a player. Flag. That's I what say I normal, think. normal, but somebody who's actually ready to be in a relationship, who wants to be with you, is willing to spend time with you and give you what you need. I think... Normal. You want to be with each and other. Way, yeah. When Dad and I were dating, from the from the first day we went out, I mean, we were inseparable. We were glued to the hip. We went everywhere together. And other places also. Oh, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why you're putting up with this. Like, I, again, a lot of these, we don't have enough details, but it's like, you guys have been dating for a while, it sounds like. And you say you go times where you don't even see him for a month? I mean, what kind of relationship That's, is this? I'm telling you, he's a player. He's you are dating. worth more he's dating than other what women. This he's man stringing is stringing her giving. along. 
I just, I, 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 I don't know why people even. I don't know, man, but yeah, yeah. you got to do better than that for yourself. Yeah. And Definitely. don't try to fix him. He's not your burden to bear. He's not your cross to bear. He needs to fix himself and then go out and meet people. You know what I mean? Some people are just savers. You, know? you don't want to be one. You of don't want to be a saver. No. You can be a saver to an extent. Like it's a nice quality to have, but some people, some people get really they take it too far, and you just you end up ruining your own life. To yes. Save people that are just not ready. Yep. To be saved. Yep. I agree. All that right. Was an easy one too. Boyfriend won't brush his teeth. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, you don't need to know anymore. <laughs> oh. Dump it. You hitting this or are you waiting? Yeah. Why would you not want to brush your teeth? Well, I'll read Your teeth you. are going to fall yeah, out of your head. Hear. Okay, I've been dating my boyfriend for over two years now, mm -hmm. and he doesn't brush his teeth at night, only in the morning. Okay. He's going to have gum disease. He's overall a very clean person, so this isn't something that you would necessarily expect from him. He says he stopped a long time ago because his breath still smells in the morning. So what is even the point? Dude, I, I, my first girlfriend in high school, she said the same exact thing. She really? She doesn't brush her teeth at night, only in the morning, because what's the point? And I thought that was really weird at the time. She didn't have stinky breath, but maybe she doesn't know. She was, you know. I mean, all the things that you you eat, you put yeah. in your mouth, all that decay and bacteria, you got to clean it out or you're going to have so, cavities up the yin-yang. She continues, um, we all know there's more to brushing your teeth than the smell of your breath. He knows that brushing his teeth twice a day is the right thing to do, but he yet pleads bad habits, laziness, stubbornness as to why he won't start now, even after all he went through. Did he go through stuff? I am really struggling with his logic here and have had enough trying to argue over such silly topic Then we both know I'm 100% right. What do I do? That's pretty funny. Dump him. Well, you know, if she really likes him, she needs to explain. Are we really at the point where we're dumping people because they only brush one time? No, no, no. You, you can't, you know, if Can you really... Can we unring the bell? You, we'll unring the bell. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Nah, take it back. I, whoop. Dad, you want to hit it? There's a logical disconnect here, though. Dude, he brushes one time a day. You ready to dump him for that? No, you just got to, you know, <laughs> well, share. Let, let's look down the road, okay? We have a great relationship. Two years. Oh, baby, I love you. Let's get married. Okay, you get married. You have kids. The kids are four or five. Okay, go brush your teeth. Daddy doesn't brush his teeth. Why should I brush my teeth? can see all kinds of horrible things coming from that. It's just a well, lack How many of more horrible judgment. things can you see coming from that other than that one situation you described? Many. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, doctor of a BA of Bachelor of Science. Psychopathy also. You know, you don't want to be somebody's mother. I, I mean, hate being put in a situation like that. If, but if, if you, I had a boyfriend that I really cared about and he didn't brush his teeth in the evening... I, of course, would explain how I felt about him brushing his teeth and why he should. I mean, if they refuse to brush their teeth, no matter what I say, did she just, did you ever say anything to that girl? Like, you should brush your teeth? We or? were young. We were like 15. We were young. I just thought it was really weird. I'd never heard that before. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I would handle that. Maybe, maybe that would be something that would turn me off so much. I'm so about dental hygiene. You know, I, I've yeah, always tried teeth. to instill that upon you kids, that your I'm teeth, with oral hygiene. you know, I and, mean, and your teeth have got to last you the rest of your life. What are you doing? Okay. Here's what maybe you need to explain to him. When you don't brush your teeth at night, that's when you get, that's when you cause the most damage to your gums and your Art teeth. disease. And it, because when you sit there at night in your bed and your mouth is closed, you're not eating or drinking. Saliva cleans your mouth. And so when you chew and you're eating throughout the day, it keeps your mouth healthy. But when you're sitting in bed, you know, for eight hours where your mouth is closed, that's when the bacteria breeds and causes the most damage. So when you don't brush before bed, that's actually the most damaging thing that you can do for your mouth. That's the most important time to brush. I know that brushing in the morning, you know, you wake up with bad breath and all that, you know, but the, that's why you got, that's, it does, so her, her theory, my ex, my girlfriend from high school was like, what's the point? I wake up right. with stinky breath, I have to brush anyway. The point is that bacteria is going to wreak havoc on your mouth at night and you need to brush before bed to prevent that from happening. The Tooth point, decay can go right to your brain. Yeah, the point of brushing so, your teeth. Heart disease, there's so many things. 
isn't just to sweeten your breath. It's to keep from getting cavities and maintain good oral hygiene. Right, so. right. But, but to the point of what do you do, I mean, what can you do? I mean, listen, if you can't people talk have, sense. I mean, people are, you know, we all deal with weird <laughs> things with our spouses. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the guy's not going to brush his teeth. I don't know what to tell you. You're just going to yeah. be, you're going to be married to a dude that brushes his teeth once a day. I mean, I, th- I think you just got to deal with it. But if you can't convince him to do that, what other strange things I, that no he bats. does won't you be able to convince him to do, even though it's the right thing to do? I see. You're 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 saying he has a disconnect here. What else does he have disconnect? Right. With? Well, that's true. Yes. That's a good point, Gary. Thank okay, you. but let's be honest. Finally. We're not we're not dump we're not advocating dumping because the man brushes once a day. Right. She just has to evaluate the situation and say to herself, "How much do I really?" It's not like that big of a guy. deal. <laughs> Try to get him to brush at night. What can I say? It's not that big of a deal. Right. Hand him all the info. Of all the things him. you could deal with that we've heard of here on this show. Right. Not brushing your teeth. Come on. Low and on then the you list. can help him change his dentures when he's older and right. have lost well, at all least, his teeth. If he won't brush, at least try to get him to like use mouthwash or something at night. Like try to something. Kind of compromise. Like, look, dude, this is gross. I know you don't want to brush. Maybe you're too lazy. Just rinse some mouthwash. That's easy. I know what you can do. If you seduce him and you want to be romantic, say, you got to brush your teeth if you're coming to bed with me, because I'm not going to kiss you. So use sex as leverage. I don't know. To brush? <laughs> Maybe. Interesting. Very Machiavellian. You're <laughs> right. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. I didn't realize I had it in Very me. Very psychopath. Psychopath. <laughs> yeah. well, it's not psychopath. Maybe if he's a real heavy sleeper, you could brush his teeth while he's sleeping. Yeah. Oh, then he would choke. <laughs> You know, also gum is really good for the oral hygiene, and the uh, you can get him to chew some gum. And sugar. I, I mean, that's pathetic, though. Just, just sugar be like, gum. dude. Quip.com. Quip.com. Yeah. Quip.com. Quip.com. Yeah. Three. Help and brush all quadrants. Easy, quick and easy. Yeah. Love those bristles. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. You, you're, 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 you're in a relationship with a with an animal. <laughs> don't even try. Don't even try to get him started on flossing. Have, kiss a kiss a guy whose mouth s- smells like your dogs. <laughs> the one, the number one instant turn off for me, no matter what, if she is like a perfect ten, like damn, perfect girl. Even person, I'll say she's a per- I'll dude, I'll even go as shallow as saying she has a perfect personality. She's amazing and she's super into me. If she's got bad breath, I'm like, sorry, I can't do this. I can't do it. See, I can That's even true. see past that and help the breath. I'm like a teeth. Like, you have to have good teeth. Like, look at your mother. I mean, she has the greatest teeth. That was one of the things that attract her. And if you don't brush your teeth, you're not going to have perfect teeth. Some people have really good teeth, despite their well, lack of... Yeah, you know what? Let me walk... Some people have bad breath. It's a medical condition. So yes, no hate that's goes true. to them. I would, I would not reject you in that case. If it was an oral hygiene, then I'm saying bye-bye. Yeah. I, yeah. Dump them. Oh, we're back to that. <laughs> Leave, move out in the middle of the night and never talk to him again. <laughs> oh, God. Can you pull up Bye Bye by the Backstreet Boys, Dan, in the meantime? Yeah, bye, I don't, bye, I don't bye, think we, got, we okay. have a license to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us about to the end here. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to miss you guys. We have a special little video. Oh, cool. That we'll watch. Okay. So here it is. Okay. It's very exciting to introduce our new co-host, my mom. (laughs) Thank you, thank you, thank you. Has Ethan ever smoked crack? I don't think so. Wrong. (laughs) I don't think we ever smoked anything like that, did we? Speak for yourself. (laughs) Oh, we're learning all kinds of stuff. You know, when you're a kid Uh, and you start rummaging through your parents' stuff, I found in my mom's side drawer the biggest fucking dildo. It's like a a moment that that is forever burned in my brain. Send email. To, to Dan. No, you seem to have somehow activated. Oh, that was some so strange, pathetic. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure how you did that. <laughs> so we that have a awesome. family's advice segment here today. Oh, okay. ditch the guy. She's dating the wrong like guy. Baby. I'd say dump his ass. Oh, All right, no. dump him. <laughs> you would be dad's shouty. Yeet. Yeet? Yeet. Team Skeet. All Gary follows <laughs> is these crazy porn accounts. Three porn stars but the reports that i've had range between 112 and 1 
134 <laughs> accounts. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was never good at counting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my God. That was embarrassing for you. She said, actually, <laughs> so I'm a brilliant political thinker with a B.A. in political science. Oh, that's oh, there it. it is. This is the quote. Yeah, there it is. Actually, I'm a brilliant political thinker with a B.A. in political <laughs> science from UCLA. Sorry to disappoint you. Obviously, there's sarcasm there. Was it? A brilliant political thinker. Just for some random, okay. Signs from UCLA. Sarcastic. Sorry to disappoint you. Went to Dodger Stadium. People would throw the beach balls oh. around. You would grab them and stab <laughs> them with a knife. Go. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. I laughed so hard. And tears were coming down my face. <laughs> I'm trying to find you a friend. Where are you from? Oh, you my know God. What, dude? Peace and love, but I'm out. There's you, somebody yeah. showing me something. Oh, I can't believe Shave you put me through that. That's the grain. Ah! Oh. That's how you know. So that is a grand total of they should, a could have, should have cut in that guy's neck with the lacerations <laughs> all over it. 157 points. Oh! oh. Dad you know, and I were watching that game the other night. We didn't play it right. Yes, we did. No, uh-uh. What did we do wrong? We weren't supposed to um, share the answers with our fellow contestants. Yeah, you can't on our but they're line. always cheating. The last, no, no, the no. One. Okay, well. Just, Richard Dawson just goes up to individuals. You still making excuses? Say, yes. <laughs> Going on about butterflies, she says, "Listen, I'm. She's ready to do a spin-off show. I got a lot of crap for not letting my mom talk about her butterflies. The monarch butterfly Aww. is in so much nice. trouble because of the Mexican cartel. I, I just think it's a it's a wake up call <laughs> for everyone who." I needs like to that. know that there's like insects that, that are that. How'd you do that? Yeah. And it's a whole domino <laughs> effect. Can, Can I ascend it? to a butterfly? I think you've earned your wings. Yay! <laughs> you see the blanket? I made that for you. Cute. You brought that around <laughs> you everywhere so you went. Precious. He's like, damn, I don't know how I got away with this one. <laughs> I'm still saying that. Girl, that there's two young baby. people. Oh, there look at that are. face. That's <laughs> Ethan. I raised such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you email me, I'm going to get buy you a $1,000 gift card to American Eagle. Oh, wow. He's just born with uh, incredible strength. And you're born with incredible beauty. That's very sweet of you to say. <laughs> you're welcome, Mom. Rekindled the father-son yes, bond. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> One of us look rekindled. <laughs> Thank you for watching, families. Uh, ciao! Smash that like button. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> wow. Yay! It was a beautiful journey. It really was. It was a beautiful journey. We covered a lot. We did it all. We said it all. It was fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. It was fun to share the experience with you guys. It was a special. I sure special learned ride. a lot. I sure yeah. learned a lot. I had no idea what what was out there in this whole yeah, you guys are on the social now. media world. Ethan. I know you created a monster, <laughs> Ethan. That's why I'm ending the show. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, I love it. I just absolutely. I'm going to have Ethan teach me how to get on TikTok. Yeah, she's going to make a butterfly TikTok account. I'll let you guys know when we uh, launch that. Uh, that'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. Well, mom. Can I take the butterflies with me? Yeah. We have a bunch of them. It's okay. just little. Oh, we have to return yeah. those, actually. I love you. <laughs> the butterfly oh, queen. Not only me, the whole, everybody loves you. Quick, throw another touch the grass in. <laughs> no, one, one, one per episode. No, I would just like to say that um, your staff is really great. Yeah, you're very are, lucky they're, guy. They're awesome. You're they're a they're very they're lucky guy. They're the best in the game. Dan, Dan's the only one here today, but every everybody, yeah, especially Dan. They are the best. In you the guys game. are great. Yeah. You really are. Dad, any parting words uh, for the people? It's been a lot more fun than I had anticipated. Uh, really, I didn't. You know, want to participate much at all at the beginning, but then I was in the background wisecracking, and then got on camera, and it's been uh, been a lot of fun, been fulfilling. Uh, uh, I'm on Cameo too, plug plug, uh, <laughs> and not nearly getting the traffic that your mother is, and that is uh, certainly justifiable. But your fans are fantastic, whether it's communicating online or whether it's uh, them coming up to us on purpose. That's one thing mom doesn't like about new mask mandate. She's recognized <laughs> much less now with covering her face. Although oh, someone really? recognized her even with the mask on. I will say my mom loves when people come say hi. She I tells do. the whole story. 
goes, I'm gonna take pictures so I can show it on the show. I and, know. And tell everybody. They're so sweet when they come up to me and 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 uh, introduce themselves and tell tell me how much they love your show. Mm, I you. love it. Thank you, thank I love you. it. Yeah, you're, the fans are great. Thanks for your support of families. And uh, if you disagree with Ethan's decision, flood that inbox. You oh, know, let come know. on. That's not what I need. So, <laughs> and it's not it's not goodbye forever, right? No, we're no, no, we're no. going to do some gonna fun be things. Here. They're going to be having a reoccurring segment on the show. It'll be fun. Be the Butterfly Queen. My parents are not going anywhere. Yes, we're family. You're stuck with us. <laughs> <All right. laughs> on or off. The well, show an emotional end. I will say I've had a lot of fun. I feel like we bonded. The people love you guys. I've learned a lot about butterflies. <laughs> well, that's good. You know, and don't forget to vote. The most shocking thing I learned, I think, from all of this, what's that? Is that the cartel sell avocado? <laughs> yeah, that still blows my mind. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a <laughs> big issue. Indirectly, the new what do you mean green indirectly? crop. The new green crop. Yeah, no longer marijuana. It's avocado. It's avocados. Yeah. There you go. Indirectly, and, and they don't plant them. They just uh, no, no, no. Don't intimidate the no, growers. I like the idea that they plant them. All right, they They're do just plant straight up them. agriculture now. Oh, see, mom says they do. Them. No, you know how long it takes to get avocados from. An well, they, avocado they, tree? well, they, they, they long steal so the wait, land from the farmers. At what point do they just become legitimate farmers? They're never. They're well. They're not legitimate because they take they the take land, land from from yeah. these little farmers. Yeah. So. Oh. Cartel free avocados, guys. Yep. Yep. Look, look for that made in the USA sticker on there. Okay. All right. Well, everybody. Oh, so I should talk about the schedule. You know, we're, our schedule is normal this week, but starting next week, because families is ending, we're going to be doing, we, we're we unveiling soon a new co host, a new show. Oh. I'm very excited. I'm still working out the details, but um, I'm super excited about what's coming up. And um, we're also going to be doing H3 TV every Monday now, which is going to be live on YouTube, no longer on Twitch. We're going to be doing huh. it here for the people. We're going to be taking call-ins every Monday, taking suggestions. We've got four, sc we've got four call screeners set up for that live experience every monday h3 tv is gonna nice be wow. I think we'll that'll be good at like one we'll figure it out the exact somewhere around that and then on tuesday we are hoping to slot the new show there can we guess Sounds very who the exciting. new co-host is gonna be it might be a surprise i prefer not to guess yeah all right yeah <laughs> it would have been a bad guess and anyway. you want to give me a guess a bad guess Gabby Hanna? <laughs> nope. That's a bad guess, huh? Oh, we got to cut that. Is a, cut, that is that a bad now. guess. Oh, <laughs> Keemstar would have even been worse. Yeah, Keemstar. There we go. That's a bad guess, yeah. Even worse guess. So exciting things to come. Well, I wish you the best of luck. You better. You're and, my mom. And, and I think it's going to be great. I think it's nice to switch out co-hosts. It's, it's, it gives yeah. everything a new, fresh, you know, feel to it. Mm-hmm. Continued growth of the H3 and yeah. Betty Fresh Empire. I'm very ooh, proud ooh, of my ooh, son. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you know, we only had the new curtain for one day, but or one episode. But, two. Uh, we got two episodes out of it. We got two. Well, today we got two episodes yeah. of it. So. Well, you, know, you can use you, you can use it again. Mm, probably not. Probably not. Uh, maybe we maybe we could do reoccurring like emergency family episode. Family reunion. Yeah, family reunion. That it's even got fun. a perfect sure. name already. Yeah, we can do. Oh, nice. Reunions. Okay. Yeah. Like in two weeks? Well, if you <laughs> like next week, yeah. You know, if, if we do a, a like uh, next week and every week, <laughs> yeah, right. We could do a like a phone in when you called me on the car. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, that my, as long help. as I. Oh my god, that Everyone was crazy. That. <laughs> my thought is that when there's like a big drama happening, we can call you guys and get you to weigh in. Oh, that would be fun. The drama, Donna, the drama investigator. That I'll have my notes ready. <laughs> we know that you will. Uh, All right, guys. Family. Thanks, everyone. Love you guys. Love you. Signing out. Ah. Bye. Smash the like button for the last time <laughs> this month. <laughs>